Hello, it's Miss Binns and I'm the Lead Practitioner of Humanities and I'm going to talk to you today about the GCSE RE course that we can offer you for your GCSE studies here at Shuttleworth College. So in terms of what you will study, so there are two papers. Paper one is the study of religions and paper two um, it will look at sort of different themes, so it's our thematic studies paper. So in terms of your paper one study of religions, we look at Christianity and Islam. So there are two religions that we will focus on. So we've, they both follow the sort of same structure. So we look at beliefs and teachings and practices within both Christianity and Islam. So in terms of Christianity beliefs and teachings, we look at key ideas like what is God like? What is the Trinity? What is the afterlife? And then when it looks at things like the Christianity practices, we're looking at how Christians worship, uh, looking at different forms of worship, also looking at different festivals and also looking at different sacraments that they have, as well as looking about what the role of the church is in both the local community. So looking at things like food banks, for example, and then also the worldwide community. So how is the church and how is the Christian community helping others uh, across the world? When it comes to Islamic beliefs and teachings, we're also looking again about this idea of what is God like within Islam, the importance of angels and also prophets within Islam as well. For Islamic practices, we focus on looking at the key duties that Muslims must be following. So looking at the five pillars of Islam, as well as the ten obligatory acts. We'll look at each of those five pillars of Islam in much more detail, looking at the Hajj pilgrimage as one of those as well. And then we look at the festivals that are being uh, celebrated within the Islamic faith. For paper two, we look at the uh, themes from just a Christian perspective. So we've got theme A, which looks at relationships and families. So we're looking at key ideas around sort of sex, marriage and divorce. So looking at homosexual relationships, looking at reasons why people want to get married, looking at the religious views that we've got about sex before marriage, uh, looking at reasons why um, marriages fail, looking at divorce. Also looking at, around the ideas of gender equality as well. Now, theme B is religion and life. So this is where we look at the origins of human life and the origins of the universe. So looking at the creation story, looking at the scientific approach that we've got to creation and also looking at some key uh, sort of topical um, issues around euthanasia and abortion. So looking at the idea of uh, life being God given, life being sacred. So what are the Christian views on these things? Now, theme E is looking at religion, crime and punishment. So we're looking at why do people commit crimes, so sort the of reasons behind that, looking at the aims of punishment, the different types of punishments that can be used, and then also looking at arguments for the use of the death penalty. And the last theme that we look at is uh, religion, human rights and social justice. So this is where we look at key ideas around prejudice and discrimination uh, towards groups of people. We've also got the sort of status and the role of women within society and sort of how that has changed over time and why. And then looking at freedoms, particularly religious freedoms. Now, in terms of how you will be assessed, so you've got two papers, as I've said. Now, they both follow the exact same structure. You'll have an hour and 45 for each of these papers. Each paper is 50% of your final uh, grade and then they're put together. So this is how um, your question paper would sort of look. So you've got a variety of different questions. So they range from one to 12 marks. We have one mark questions, two marks, four marks five marks and 12 marks. So on the screen here, you can see an example um, of a test paper that has been done in class. So quite a straightforward structure and each of the papers follows that exact same one. So you might see that there have been some sort of similarities in terms of some of the content from your Key Stage 3 RE lessons, uh, but we will develop on that throughout. So looking ahead, why would you want to choose GCSE RE? Now there's uh, lots of different reasons why you should do. So RE seems a, a key qualification. Uh, a lot of colleges and sixth forms will accept that um, as, as, a, as a GCSE that you have taken. You can obviously go on to further study in RE as well, uh, looking at obviously religious studies at A level, uh, but also in things like ethics and philosophy. Also really good for things like sociology as well, understanding people. GCSE RE can also help you sort of develop sort of lots of transferable skills and values to your future life, good communication, tolerance of others, mutual respect. 
Also, you've got lots of careers that you can follow with this subject. We do lots of career links all the way through your course for you, for you to be able to find out a little bit more about how what you're studying in RE can link to the wider world. Just because you're studying RE doesn't mean that you're going to go on and be a minister. There's lots of different jobs that we can link our RE studies to. So here on the screen, you've just got some examples of some of the work that our students have done. Um, this, these are examples from both year 10 and year 11 classes, just so you can see some of the different things that we do in class. Uh, you've got uh, examples on there of the GCSE questions uh, and how they've, we've broken those down and just some examples of some activities. Now on here, we've just got some examples um, of some comments that have come from uh, my current GCSE students and uh, so please have a read through those if you do have any questions about your GC about GCSE RE uh, anything that you want to find out a little bit more about please do ask your RE teachers please do come and find me and I'll be more than happy to talk you through anything further um, I am very biased on this but I do think it is a fantastic course for you to be able to sort of see different religions different viewpoints but also a lot of it is things that are relatable to you um, so please do ask any questions if you want to find out about it in, in any more detail not a problem at all please do come and ask your RE teachers please come and find me thank you very much